I'm Shaib Zadi, I'm going to start with my fellow Alish Bahan from Mount Sarah Public School in College Mount Sarah presenting an oxygen atom model. Oxygen is actually an element, meaning that containing similar batch of atoms. It is represented by the letter O, signifying the first letter of the word oxygen. Let me give you some physical properties of oxygen. Oxygen is a colorless gas. That means we cannot decipher it as a separate entity from air. While in liquid or solid form, it is in pale blue substance. It is also odorless, meaning we cannot smell it. It is also tasteless, meaning we cannot taste it. It is quite dense. It is denser than air. It is soluble in water and alcohol. It is quite electronegative and its high energy content makes it an important product for many biological processes, such as cellular respiration. Let me tell you about the discovery of oxygen. Actually, oxygen was first discovered by Carl Wilhelm in 1771 and it was named as oxygen by Lavoisier in 1777. If we look at the placement of oxygen in periodic table, we will see its periods, its groups and its block. As you can see here that oxygen lies in second period, it means that it has two shells. If we talk about its group, we can see that it lies in sixth group, which means it has six valence electrons. And on our model, we've also shown only valence electrons. And we have shown six valence electrons because it lies in six group, it means it has six valence electrons. If we talk about its block, we know that there are four blocks in periodic table, S, P, D, and F. And you can see here that oxygen lies in P block. It means that its last electrons are filled in P block. As we all know that oxygen is an electronegative element, it means it has a property to attract the paired electrons, the shared electrons in our body. So it is electronegative element with electronegativity of 3.4 on conic scale. Now let me tell you some allotropes of forms of oxygen. Oxygen exists as nascent oxygen that is a single atom, and it is not very stable, so that's why it exists in nature for a very, very short period of time. The second one is the most common, that is a dioxygen or O2, that is the most common allotrope in nature. The third is the trioxygen O3, or we can say ozone. Ozone is present in the stratosphere, and back in 2001, another allotrope was discovered, which was named as tetraoxygen. Actually, when we talk about oxygen, actually we don't talk about oxygen atom all the time. We refer to oxygen molecule while talking about oxygen. So, let us look at the you know bonding between oxygen molecule. Actually, when an oxygen molecule is formed, it is formed by two oxygen atoms. One oxygen atom and another oxygen atom combines to form oxygen molecule. Actually, they form double bond. One is sigma bond and other is pi bond. If we talk about its bond order, it is two, which signifies that it makes a double bond. We all say that oxygen is paramagnetic in nature. So why is it paramagnetic? Actually, when we say it is paramagnetic in nature, it means that it has a relative effect in magnetic field. And it is due to the reason that it has unpaired electrons in, it high, in its high energy shells. So at last, I have a message for you from Oxygen. It's life that I give. Living things are important. Forget your mistakes. Just live with me because I am, from, I am free. So, be healthy like O2, be happy like O3, and be unique like O4. Life goes on, live on. Thank you for listening to our presentation. It's me, Alish Bahan, and Amna Hassan signing off. Thank you.